What's going on YouTube? It's me, the Stripe Pack Guy, Mr. Longbacks, bringing you another Stripe Pack video. This ain't going to be a tutorial video. This is going to be my top five things that I feel you should know. You have to know before getting yourself one of these bad boys, before jumping into whole, to the whole Stripe Pack game. This is called FPS Stripe Pack Dominated by Collective Minds, as you can see right there. Now, I know most of you guys don't got 200 plus dollars neither do I to just spend it on a single controller just to have a few extra buttons just to have a few extra you know paddles in the back when you can just pick yourself up one of these that cost 40 bucks using my code here 10% off 35 through collective minds website they also you can also pick one of these up at GameStop and Amazon the choice is yours but this is gonna be my top five things that you should know before so please all of you guys that are new or old before you think about getting a strike pack watch this video because it's gonna help you out and this is going to be kind of sort of my whole experience on this whole strike pack. That's all I want to get talk, talk to you right now about a couple of things before the video actually begins. So if you don't want to hear all, all this, which I think is necessary, but if you want to hear all this, you can skip through the video. But um, right off the back, I got this years ago. Maybe maybe when they when 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 they very first launched it, you know, I forgot when, but I, it's been a while. And my only reason of getting it was because of the paddles. Because I was looking at scuff controllers just like everybody else. And I was not about to spend more than $100, $200 on a freaking stinking controller. That's just going to get wear and tear and break down. Especially if you're a hardcore gamer. I mean, 40 bucks for this, you can't go wrong. The the mods, you know, just so happens to come with 8 um, standard stop mods on it already. But if you're one of those, I just want to get it just for the paddles. Go ahead, because you're going to be spending 40 bucks for paddles. Rather than $200 plus. You know what I mean? And before back then, there was no you know mod pass. It wasn't none of that craziness that this comes with. So, yeah, now things are a lot crazy, a lot of, uh, out of hand. And this, this along with like the Chrono Max, but Chrono Max I can understand. But this the Strike Pack is a bit different because it got the paddles and it has two separate modes: tournament mode and mod mode. Now listen, guys, I get some hate. I'm pretty sure all you guys get some hate. Anyone that uses mods or Strike Pack get, gets some hate. Just ignore it. I learned to grow thick ass skin and I got thick ass skin and I get a ton of hate on my comments. Trust me, I get a lot of BS. I just ain't ignore it all. That's not I ignore the toxicity. It's 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 I don't even pay no mind. That shit does not bother me whatsoever. But you got mouse and keyboard being praised, you know, used on console and mouse and keyboard alone. It's like you know, the aiming with the mouse is just crazy, it's ridiculous. The strike pack is here to balance that out. Now, a lot of people don't got money like that. A lot of people are not, you know, born rich and famous, <laughs> and they don't got, I mean, they don't got 200 plus dollars to spend on a freaking controller just to try to match up with mouse and keyboard. You know, you got to go out there and, and buy something just to match up against those other, you know, people, those other pro players, those other people that, that are using certain stuff. Because let's be honest, let's be real. Everyone uses something. Everyone, whether it's a, you know, whether it's control free, whether it's a strike pack, whether it's you know, um, MAK mouse keyboard, or whether it's whatever it is, a scuff, whatever. Someone's using something. They're all an advantage. All of them are, are are are. If you're not playing with a regular controller with nothing on it, then okay, you're you're playing normal. But besides that, any kind of attachment to the controller, any kind of different controller rather than a regular stock. DualShock 4 controller that PS4 console or regular default controller that consoles come with, you know, then you're using something different. And, and, it's, and it's okay to be different. It's, a, it's okay to use something different, you know, whether you want to use it for fun or whether you need the extra help. It's okay. Don't let people bash you, bro. Don't let people talk shit to you because behind the keyboard, behind that phone, behind that screen, they probably using something too. Or they just mad because they don't got the money to get it, you know, because you bought it. Whatever. But that's what it is. It's 40 bucks. You can just go out there and get it. But anyway. I don't understand why people go on YouTube and search these videos just to bash, just to just to talk crap. I mean, thank you for the view. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful. Thanks, thanks for the ad, the ad revenue. But the point is, just don't. You're wasting your time, and it's just you're being a jerk. You're being an asshole for no reason because you know in this day and age, you know where where, where you got everyone wanting to be equal, equal rights is equal right. To me, it's all the same. Stripe pad, Cronus, mouse and keyboard. It's all it's all an advantage. It's all it's all trying to get ahead of everybody else. It's all the same to me. It's all the same to me. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, nobody pays your bills. Nobody didn't give you that forty bucks so you can buy that. So don't listen to people's crap. You bought it. It's your money. You know, don't let people tell you what to do and just ignore the hate and the drama. And I'm sorry for for for, for rambling on and, and don't a little rant. But you know, so, sometimes the truth got to be told. You know, the truth got to be told sometimes. Just tell people to kick rocks. That's it. Just do you. Because I'm doing me. <laughs> and I make my videos for you guys. I make my videos for you guys. I used to be one of those that, that use a strike pack only for the paddles. But I'm like, yo, 
and we start you know making these YouTube videos and, and see if you know see if um I actually get views and see if people actually also use a strike pack could benefit from my video because I knew I'm starting to know a lot about it I'm starting to genuinely know a lot and educate myself on the strike pack I'm affiliated with the company and Cronus Max so I know a lot about it so I'm like yo let me just help other people out and boom my channel is growing and I'm actually genuinely helping people out you know that I actually use this kind of stuff and I've gotten tons bro a lot of DMs about a bunch of questions and I don't mind I help everyone you know I might miss one or two but yo hit me up like yo no, I'm as, I, I message I'm, I'm like, oh okay I got you they hit me up. I'm not one of those YouTube. That's like, no. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you, bro. I'm generally a good guy. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna help you out with this with the strike pack. But anyway, without further ado, here's my top five things that I think you guys should know that I know that you guys should know before jumping into the strike pack game. Without any further ado, let go. Now, my number one on my top five of things that you need to know before getting a strike pack is right off the back. I think. I want to start with this because it's the most important. Now, th this ain't in no particular order, any kind of order whatsoever. I'm just saying this, and this is going to be the first one. Cause I think this is the most important one. After this, I'm going to just go on with the rest. <clears throat> Excuse me. The very first one is getting a strike pack. You got to have a PC. No Mac. Mac is not supported. You got to have a PC. Um, Windows 6 six and up, pretty much. 6, 7, 8, 9, 6 and up uh, will work. You know, um, any kind of PC doesn't matter as long as, you know, you got Windows 6 and up and and you you be good to go you, you you have to have it in order to update the firmware on your strike pack um which collectivize is always updating their firmware um you know to keep it you know at its top you know working condition and stuff internally and also to use my pass so with those two and with that said if you got mac um i'm sorry you got to have some kind of pc or laptop or um you can even take it like i'll be telling a lot of people that dm me and ask me questions about this you can take your strike pack I will say um, if you're kind of slick and you know you do some slick stuff, you go to a library. You know how they got PCs. Some people know how to how to download and install you know um, stuff on, on on library computers because I've seen it. You know I, I used to do it. But um, if you want to be that risky and do it, hey, go ahead. If you know tricks up your sleeve, go to a library and just um, do it like that. But or, or, or go to a friend's house or whatever the case is and do it if if your friend has a PC or family member, or whatever. But I'm sorry, Mac. Um, Apple users out there, I'm sorry, it's only for PC. Um, you can still get it. I'm not saying you don't get it. You can still get the Stripe Pack and just use it right out the box like that. I'm not saying go ahead, knock yourself out. But I'm saying as far as updating the firmware and and using mod um mod pass Central and all that, you know, you're gonna need a PC. So don't go ahead, go out there, get yourself a Stripe Pack. Never connect to a PC. Never update firmware and expect it to be running, you know, at a thousand percent because it's not. I'm actually yo. Is it up? Is it updated? Is your firmware? Is the latest firmware? You know, is it updated? Is is is? Did you ever connect it once to a PC? No, then that that should be a number one problem. But um, yeah, that's number one. Now going on to number two. Now number two is going to be this. It only the strike pack only works with standard PS4 controllers, standard Xbox controllers. You know, standard PS4 DualShock 4 controller. The controllers that you get at GameStop, the regular playing ones. Controllers that you get that come right out the box with your console. This is it. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, what's your controller? Mine is, is a regular DualShock 4. The only thing is that I have this textured um, faceplate. Well, not faceplate. Um, backplate, if you will. It's just red textured that I got from this company, which is free. Shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. And that's it. This is a, just a standard um, stock DualShock 4 red controller. I also got um, completely red decked out buttons. Oh, you can see it. And, um... And yeah, and I got one control freak on it, which is on my right side for the aiming. You don't really need a control freak for the left. And yeah, and then that's my strike pack. It only works again, I'm stress it again, on default controllers. Um, regular playing from Sony, the DualShock 4 controller, and Xbox, they're playing default controller that comes with it, and so on. It does not work on a scuff, does not work on a modded controller, it does not work on any other controller, but default controllers. Now, move on. Now for Tres, number three, <laughs> when when going about mod pass and your mod pass subscription and, and, and getting your mod pass, uh, first of all, it doesn't auto renew, so you have to purchase each year, and it's set, it's wired, it's pretty much connected to only one strike pack. So if you want another strike pack, obviously you're gonna have to purchase it again. But let's say you got mod pass in your strike pack that you use it, and your strike pack breaks on you, it malfunctions, there's a defect, whatever. You would have to contact Collective Minds 
via their Instagram. Links will be all in the description. I'll put all the links everything in the description. Via their Instagram, via their Twitter. So make sure you're following them on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Follow me. Follow your boy, by the way. Yep, follow me and them. Follow them on Instagram and Twitter. Their links will be in the description. And you can email them or DM them. Either way, they're, they're very cool people. They're, they're fucking phenomenal. And they will get back to you fast. They'll answer all your questions. They'll answer some questions that I can't even answer. But, um, yeah, you have to contact them and, and let them know what's going on. They might request or they might not. They might or might not request, you know, a picture of the advice or whatsoever. Or maybe, like, the barcode numbers or maybe, like, um, uh, a receipt or whatever. Whatever they request, if you have it, and then show it to them. But I'm not saying don't say that, oh, that, that I'm saying that you do. They might. They might not. They might just say, okay, whatever. Because all the proof they need is, is that you, you have a MyPass subscription or whatever the case is. They might just ask for your PayPal and stuff like that and and to check with proof of whatever and whatever it is they'll they'll actually help you out by transferring your my pass account your subscription to to your brand new strike pack so make sure before contacting them that you have another strike pack spare strike pack or your brand new strike pack and you're just ready to go and you contact them and they'll help you out they'll actually help you transfer your account your my pass subscription account to the other strike pack but as far as getting another strike pack let's say you want one for your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever or a family member friend or whatever then you have to purchase it again with you know obviously with PayPal only and it works like that. You can't share one MyPass subscription. That's not how it works. And again, yes, if your if your strike pack breaks, you can transfer it to a new one, but only one, not two. All right. Going on to number for number four, it's fairly simple. Your strike pack, the strike pack, must be plugged in via USB at all times. It should never be unplugged. It won't even it won't even work if it's unplugged. So it has to be plugged in via USB. The strike pack does come with if you're buying a brand new, purchasing brand new right out the box. It does come with a 10 foot USB cable, gold, it, um, like kind of it's not real gold, but it's like gold trimming, like the metal. If I can show you guys, if I have it right here. By the way, I have my strike pack um unplugged right now for the sake of the video because I like to have it like this and show you guys and everything. But this is what it's gonna come with. It's gonna come with a long ass USB. As you can see, it's like kind of, kind of, kind of. Kind of gold, if you can like. There you go. There you go. Uh, 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 whatever. Yes, yeah, it has to be plugged in at all times. I'm not using it right now. I'm just showing you pre-recorded gameplay. But um, it has to be plugged in to your console, to your strike pack at all times. And I do advise plugging it, plugging it directly into your console. So if you have like a fan, a dock, or whatever for your system for your PS4, if you have a spare um USB slot and you're not using a USB headset, please. Plug it directly, it's like that. You won't get no skips, you know, no late latency, no lags, no anything, and you'll be you 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 get the best out of it. But yeah, um, sadly, not really sad because it doesn't really bother me, but it does bother a, a couple of people. A lot of a lot of you guys, um, people ask me, oh, does, does it always come? Does do you always have to use it? You know, plugged in via USB, whatever. Plugged in you via USB, and yes, um, it's not wireless, um, so. It has to be plugged in that's how the whole magica works so that's my number four that's kind of like a fyi it has to be plugged in but it does come with a 10-foot cable so bear that in mind and if let's say if you lose a 10-foot cable or wrist or whatever you can purchase another one 10-foot the same exact one on their website they do they do have them available where you can just buy another one now for the fifth and find new Now for my fifth and final last thing on my top five that I think you should know that you have to know is this. This does not take seconds or even, you know, maybe even a day to get used to. Granted, there's some people, there have been people that bought the this, bought this strike pack and they got used to it within a matter of seconds. Good job. Kudos to you guys. But it took me about over a month and a half. So if you're getting the strike pack... You can see how bulky it is. You can see it. It's a device that goes completely plugged in, strapped in USB directly into the back of your controller. Same rules applies to the Xbox. It goes back in your controller. You can see the paddles. I have their, um, well, it's not new anymore, but it's their alternate paddles, which are kind of smaller and come around the back a little more for them people with smaller, you know, smaller hands. I got big ass, fat ass hands, fat fingers, so um, I can use both paddles. I can use the default paddles at the strike pack console which are the regular long black ones that tend to come like through here to the crease of the controller these come more to the back but yeah the 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 you got to get comfortable with it um sorry you got to get comfortable with it at first it's gonna bother you and you're not gonna get used to it 
and it's gonna be kind of annoying especially if you're not used to you know you know controls with paddles and buttons in the back you gotta get used to it it might take you minutes hours days weeks months but the majority of people takes them a long time it took me a long time just 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 getting used to the device being on your controller it does add weight uh, this is all honestly it does add weight to it not much but it does add extra weight to your controller because once you take it off you're like damn if you get used to the strike pad always on your controller which mine is always on no matter what game i'm playing hell i'm playing minecraft and my, and my, <laughs> my strike pack is never getting off this thing is so amazing but yeah once you take it off you're like damn and you feel your regular controller how light it is this thing put, puts on weight but um, once you get used to it and get your hands and, and you get you grow accustomed to like having this there and you know, your fingers are going to be hitting it and stuff like that you just got used to it the way you play even if you play claw if you play flip or see the way i play i play with my middle fingers on the paddles and like this and my um my two index, index fingers on the trigger and bumpers some people play like this with their middle finger on it and they have four fingers like this you know some people play claw and stuff like that but you got to get used to it that's that's my last and final um thing that you need to know how to know on my top five you got to get used to it is this thing something that you're just gonna buy and, and automatically you know become god you know this thing doesn't make you a god anyway you can still get killed regardless but anyway yeah this is it, it takes getting used to so bear that in mind it, it's it's a bulky device it goes it go it, granted it goes completely tucked away and, and smooth you know flattened on onto your back of the controller but still you gotta get used to it you gotta get used to the paddles like i said if you one that never used paddles before and you know it's, it's a relatively cheap device it's only 40 bucks rather than spending 200 plus on a scuff um you can get used to this device if, if your heart's intent and you actually you know got a passion for it and you get used to it that's it um yeah it took me a minute it took me a while but once you get used to it trust me you ain't you ain't gonna play no games without it <laughs> especially especially competitive like COD or, or any kind of competitive pvp game you always gonna want to run this because you got them, them people out there you know running other things and stuff and yeah well that's my top five there you have it um any other questions concerns my dms are always there that my, my social media is always open follow me follow collective minds on instagram and twitter as well if you got any questions or concerns you know feel free ask me I'll, I'll try to answer as quick as possible you know if i can't get to you if i don't answer to you quick enough um to fulfill your needs you can always contact collective minds and just feel free never never feel ashamed never feel ashamed of people talking crap try people, people try to put you down because like i said 99.9 percent .9 of gamers today are using something they're using something all right let's be real it's been your boy mr Lombax. check out my other content subscribe if you are new drop a like if this video helped you out and i'm out peace